The movie opens with a man narrating. He mentions how, as a kid, you never considered consequences and felt unbeatable. People cautioned you, but in summer, anything was possible. This man experienced this firsthand. The scene shifts to people having fun on the beach. Doug arrives in a town engrossed in a book. He gazes at the stunning beach view. Accompanied by his parents, they settle in. While they set up, his mom playfully asks if he brought enough books. Their house is by a pier with a few packed boats. Doug heads down to the pier later, meeting a friend who talks about the women visiting and the absurd situation, hinting at easy, romantic opportunities. They stroll on the pier, reaching a bar. A man unplugs electronics, briefly halting the band's performance. After some initial booze, the man starts playing the guitar along with the band, pleasing the crowd. Doug's friend hands him an apron, declaring the start of summer. Returning home, Doug announces his arrival, but no one's around. He goes to his room, looking at a few photos. From his window, he spots a new couple who have moved in nearby. The wife, named Lena, catches his attention with her beauty, but she enters the house before he can see more. Intrigued, he continues watching but gets startled when Lena looks up, causing him to turn away. Later, he takes his bike out and manages to glimpse Lena as she bends down to clear sand from her shoes. He then meets up with his friend, and, once again, they talk about girls. They carry a mattress to an old boat shed, hearing laughter from the other side of the beach. As they crack open their beers, his friend assures Doug of an amazing summer ahead. Upon returning home, Doug realizes the neighbors have settled in. His father calls him, introducing him to the new neighbors. Elliot, Lena's husband, learns from Doug's father about Doug's knowledge of boats. Elliot invites Doug to check out his new boat, hinting at a potential higher-paying job compared to lawn mowing. The following day, Doug goes to inspect the boat and spots Lena returning from a swim. He discreetly watches her as she heads for a shower. During this, she undresses and Doug's gaze lingers. Unexpectedly, Elliot appears and questions Doug about the boat's condition. Doug mentions minor cosmetic damage, and Elliot reveals he might be away for a while. They discuss pay, agreeing on $1.12, although Elliot would have given him $1.20. Later, once again peering through his window toward the neighbor's house, Doug sees Lena changing clothes. Suddenly, Elliot enters the room and attempts to force himself on Lena, prompting Doug to avert his eyes. The following day, Elliot drives to the waterfront and encounters a vigilant guard who insists on checking his identity. Doug joins Elliot and remarks that the guard seems strict. Elliot responds that he prefers it that way. As they stand on his boat, Doug inquires about how Elliot managed to acquire everything. Elliot attributes it to money and good looks. Another day dawns, and Doug once again spots Lena walking past. Suddenly, a scream catches his attention. He hurries out to find Lena by her car, seemingly startled by a spider. He removes and kills the spider, then proceeds to fix her car. An awkward moment arises when Lena comes closer. He confides in his friend about this incident, and the friend warns him to be cautious with Lena's husband, whom Doug should avoid crossing. Returning from work, Doug encounters Lena sitting on her porch. She confides in him that she's locked herself out of the house and needs his assistance. She asks him to keep it between them as Elliot had requested her to take care of the situation on her own. Suddenly, rain begins to fall. Lena asks Doug to find a rock to break the back window, allowing her to enter the locked door. Doug obliges, successfully breaking the window and enabling her to unlock the door. In gratitude, she invites him inside for a drink and hands him a beer. As they converse, she notices a cut on Doug's skin. Gently, she tends to it, and playfully assures him that he'll survive. In a bold move, Doug kisses Lena, apologizing for its quality, but she remains unfazed. Encouragingly, she suggests he try again, urging him to improve. This leads to a passionate makeout session, with Lena gradually removing her clothes. Doug assists her, and they eventually become intimate. The following morning finds them waking up together in bed. Lena praises Doug's performance from the previous night and curiously asks about his prior experiences with girls. In a lighthearted manner, Doug playfully refers to their encounter as his third time.
Leaving Lena's place, Doug carries a contented smile, reminiscing about their time together. Meeting his friend later, Doug learns that he had accidentally called him last night, resulting in a voice message of Doug's amorous sounds. His friend then presents potential sexual partners, but Doug dismisses the idea. In the ensuing days, Doug continues admiring Lena and even starts exercising with her in mind. While working on the boat, Lena approaches him once more, explaining that her husband sent her to check on his progress. They board the boat, and Lena requests that Doug close the boat cover while playfully flirting with him. She begins removing her clothes once more, and they share another kiss that escalates into intimacy. That evening, Doug is working at the bar when Lena enters with her husband. His friend approaches, pointing out a couple of girls and expressing optimism about the night. The next day, Doug is riding his bicycle and spots Elliot stopping near a store. Intrigued, he halts and enters the shop, finding Lena inside. They slip out through the back door and become intimate. However, their moment is interrupted when Elliot enters the store in search of Lena. Hearing his approach, they cease their activities, and Lena kisses Doug before returning. Later, Elliot inspects the boat Doug is repairing, noting an oversight. He then lectures Doug about his rigorous approach, drawing parallels between Doug and himself, acknowledging Doug's hard work. He mentions his upcoming trip out of town. Seizing this opportunity, Doug arranges to meet Lena, and they enjoy an intimate picnic in bed. They share personal conversations, and Lena hands Doug a phone, explaining that it will facilitate their communication. She reveals Elliot's paranoia and how the phone will enable discreet conversations. In a hurried moment, Doug heads to the kitchen, followed by Lena, but their actions are witnessed by the gardener. Sometime later, Doug returns to the waterfront, where he finds Elliot by his boat. Tentatively, he approaches, only to realize that Lena is with Elliot. Elliot asks Doug to take the boat out to ensure its seaworthiness. During the trip, a beam nearly strikes Elliot, but he manages to avoid it by ducking. Elliot proceeds to discuss Doug's attempt to offer him relationship advice and inquires if Doug has a girlfriend. Doug asserts that he indeed has one. Suddenly, the boat's engine malfunctions, prompting Elliot to inspect the issue. During this moment, Lena takes the opportunity to confide in Doug about contemplating divorce from Elliot. Elliot returns and asks Doug to fix the engine. Later that night, Doug gets a distressing call from Lena, who is in tears. She reveals that Elliot assaulted her and left for a business trip. Doug rushes to the hospital, advising her to involve the police, but she dissuades him and they return home. A while later, he's working when Lena calls again, this time sunbathing by the beach. She invites him over, and they end up being intimate in a boat shack. Lena expresses feeling liberated around him. During this time, Lena also shares the story of Elliot's previous marriage and the ongoing court battle they're embroiled in. Doug's friends notice his changed behavior and speculate about his new relationship, but he brushes off their comments. Returning home, he's surprised to find Elliot back. Suddenly, Lena calls, urgently requesting his presence. He rushes to his room where Lena's voice comes through the phone, asking him to come over immediately as she needs his help. Doug hurries to her home, only to find Lena and Elliot embroiled in a fight, during which Lena managed to strike Elliot on the head with an object. It's revealed that Elliot has died, and Lena turns to Doug for help. Expressing her concern about getting into trouble, she seeks Doug's advice on the matter. Doug reassures her, suggesting they find a solution together and emphasize the need to appear normal. He heads to work at the bar, returning home to find Lena meeting his parents, leading to an awkward encounter. Doug retreats to his room. Later that night, he visits Lena's place, where she explains she can't stay there anymore. Consequently, she moves to Doug's parents' house. Doug initially considers making Elliot's death look like an accident, but Lena dismisses the idea. Doug devises an alternative plan, moving Elliot's body onto his boat. He instructs Lena to inform the police that they had a fight, and Elliot left the house. As Doug prepares to depart with the boat, a security guard spots him and addresses him as Mr. Harper. Quick on his feet, Doug pretends to be Elliot and steers the boat away. 
The next morning, the police are investigating what appears to be an accident, with officers heading to Lena's house. Lena speaks with them, while Doug, back to his normal routine, uses a beam on the boat to create another injury on Elliot's head. He then utilizes alcohol and a cigarette to set the boat on fire. Throughout the day, Doug continues his routine, serving police officers at the bar who discuss the incident. Later, a woman arrives in town and proceeds to meet with the police. She informs them that the L.A. Trust is taking the case quite seriously. Elliot had a substantial insurance policy that is now set to go to Lena. As a result, an investigation is underway to ascertain if any foul play was involved. A determined woman is leading the investigation and questions Lena extensively about the events, even inquiring about potential infidelity between the couple. Lena firmly denies any extramarital affairs, growing frustrated with the line of questioning from the investigators. Simultaneously, the police are also probing the case. The waterfront guard mentions a possible suspect from the night of the incident. The authorities then approach Doug's father for information, leading Doug to ask the guard about these suspects. The guard recalls seeing someone he thought was Elliot that night, but he admits it could have been someone else. The insurance agent, who had previously interacted with Doug's family, visits their home to examine the crime scene. She discovers the broken window glass that Doug left on the night he first met Lena. Meanwhile, the police also question Doug's friend, who hints at a potential woman in Doug's life. This revelation angers Doug, prompting him to leave the scene. The insurance agent returns to Doug's residence, seeking more information about the night Lena visited. She expresses a desire to talk to Doug. By this point, Doug is growing increasingly anxious. He attempts to call Lena, but abruptly ends the call when his parents approach. At the police station, Doug answers a series of questions. The insurance agent probes about Elliot's relationship with Lena, attempting to coax details from Doug. However, his mother intervenes, asserting that she won't allow her son to be framed. Amid this tense situation, Doug receives a message from Lena, instructing him to meet her in the boat shed. Lena informs Doug that they need to stay apart for a while and then departs. Upon Doug's return home, the investigator is present again, explaining the necessity of collecting his fingerprints and a mouth swab. Meanwhile, the police discover a match for the blood sample provided by the agent, Doug's efforts to establish his innocence are repeatedly hindered, likely orchestrated by Lena. For instance, a gardener who had seen Doug and Lena together is murdered before the police can speak to him. Doug manages to escape on his bicycle and meets Lena by the watershed. As he approaches Lena, she tears her clothes and begins shouting, trying to create the impression of an attempted assault. The police apprehend Doug. While in custody, he informs them of his familiarity and the necessity to clear his name. An officer releases him and he hurries to Lena's motel to retrieve her cell phone. However, Lena emerges just as he searches for the phone and the agent enters the room. Doug informs the agent that the phone contains evidence of his innocence. The two women leave, with Doug noticing a matching tattoo on both of them. At this moment, Doug realizes that the agent is Lena's lover and has been her accomplice from the beginning. The truth unfolds before him, and he comprehends that he was manipulated as part of a larger scheme. Initially, it appears Lena might let Doug take the blame, but in a final display of affection, she leaves the cell phone behind, containing the evidence he needs to clear his name. The story shifts to show the women flying away on a plane after claiming Elliot's insurance fund. As the film concludes, Doug recounts how he was eventually sentenced to a reduced prison term on lesser charges. Lena and her accomplice are still on the run. Doug ponders whether he would make the same choices if given another chance. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and stay connected with us.